friends, family, we're gathered here together in the presence of God to join these two in holy marriage, which is instituted by God, regulated by his commandments, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and then to be held in the highest honor among all persons. Sarah, I've watched you grow from rock and braces and wireframe glasses into a beautiful bride who has been shaped by the grace you extend in the hard times and the joy you exude through the good. Thank you for being my built-in best friend, and I'm so excited for you and your new best friend to start this new chapter together. Trainer mirrors so many of the great traits you have, and seeing the two of you together is an answered prayer and one of my greatest joys. My advice to you both is to keep God first and each other second. Do this, and I know there will be generations to come who look up to the two of you and want to imitate you both as you imitate Christ together. From this day until the end of my days, I vow to stand by you when all others will not. I vow to share my life with you no matter what and take your side against all others to serve and obey Christ and to love you as my wife. I vow to lead our marriage in Christ, for Christ, and through Christ to bring us closer to the King of Kings. Never will I leave you nor take another in your place and I will stay with you through all that the Lord has before us. I am yours and you are mine and I will never let anything separate what God has joined together today. Well, for as much as Trainer and Sarah have agreed together, according to the teachings of Scripture and the laws of the state, I, as a minister of the gospel, declare they are husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Trainer, you may kiss your bride.